exclusion is supported by three wires. The outer two wires are of steel, have an area of 100 mm square each, whereas the middle wire of aluminum has an area of 200 mm square. The elastic models of steel and aluminum are 200 GPA and 80 GPA respectively. Then calculate the stresses in aluminum and steel wire. Okay, so first of all, write down the given data. So P load, it is total load, it is carried by total load carries by aluminum and steel bar it will be 35 kilo newton, 35 kilo newton. So convert all these value in newton mm. Okay, so 35 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton. Newton. Okay. And second one, it will be area of steel. It is 100 mm. So we will call it area of steel. We will notate it to be AS. Okay. Area of steel, it will be, there are two, two wires. So that's why multiply by 2 into 100. So area of each wire set is given 100 mm square. So AS is equal to 2 into 100, it will be 200 mm square. Okay. Then area of aluminum, just consider it to be AA. Area of aluminum, it is given 100 mm square. 100 mm square, 100 mm square. Then next word will be given. If the elastic modulus of elasticity, modulus of elasticity for steel it is given, ES is equal to, it will be 200 GPA, 200 GPA. So convert it is in Newton per mm square, 200 into 10 raised to the power three, 200 into 10 raised to the power three, it is in Newton per mm square or MPA, Newton per mm square or MPA. Then modulus of elasticity of aluminum it is given is 80 GPA, 80 GPA, 80 GPA. So it will be converted is also in Newton per mm square. So 80 into 80 into 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per mm square, 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per mm square. Okay. So this data it is given for calculating the process in the okay, process in the wire side. Sorry, aluminum and steel wire. Okay. So, first of all, you know the change in length in steel or elongation, elongation in steel wires, elongation in steel wires, elongation in steel wires. So, delta LS, delta LS, delta LS is equal to delta LS is equal to sigma S. Sigma S, Sigma S into Sigma S into 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 LS divided by divided by ES divided by ES divided by ES. Okay, divided by ES. So we know that uh, delta L is equal to PL divided by E. So P by A we are written here Sigma S. Okay, P by A we are written here Sigma S. If if it is Sigma S is equal to P by A. So it will become PL divided by A. Okay. Sigma X is equal to okay. So sigma S it will be unknown value. Sigma S. Sigma S into so total length it will be it is not given. Total length it will be same into LS divided by ES it will be given modulus of elasticity for till it is given 200 into 10 raised to the power C. 400 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per mm. Okay. Then elongation, elongation, elongation in elongation in elongation in aluminum, aluminum, elongation in aluminum. We call it is delta LA, delta LA is equal to. Delta L A is equal to delta L A is equal to sigma A sigma A stress in aluminium sigma A into into sigma A into L A L A divided by sigma A into L A divided by E A divided by E A divided by E A. Okay, so to call this value sigma S it will be unknown. Sigma A, Sigma A into L A length in aluminium L A divided by divided by E A 
So EA will be 80 into 80 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton per mm square. Okay. So this one. Okay. So elongation, elongation in steel and in aluminium, aluminium, aluminium will be same, will be same, will be equal, will be equal, it will be, will be equal because of it is, because of it will be supported in, in same direction, okay. So that's why the elongation is steel and elongation is in aluminum will be same. Elongation in steel wire and elongation in aluminum wire will be same. So that's why delta L S is equal to, you can say it will be delta L S is equal to delta L. Delta L S is equal to, you can say it will be delta L A. Delta L A. Okay. Delta L A. Okay. So equate this equation, sigma S, sigma S into L A into, into L S. Ls divided by divided by divided by, divided by 400 into 10 raised to 3 400 into 10 raised to the power 3 is equal to is equal to is equal to sigma i sigma i sigma i sigma I into l a into l a into l a divided by divided by Eighty into ten to the power three. Eighty into ten to the power three. Ten to the power three. So here length it will be same. Uh, length of aluminum and length of uh, steel it will be same here. So here LA is equal to LS. LS. So it will be get both it will be get cancelled. So this value it will be get cancelled. So sigma S is equal to it will get relation. Sigma S is equal to Sigma S is equal to Sigma S is equal to in terms of Sigma A it will be 200 divided by 80. It will be 2.5 Sigma C. 2.5 Sigma C. 2.5 2.5 Sigma C. 2.5 Sigma C. 2.5 Sigma C. Sorry, Sigma A. 2.5 sigma i. 2.5 sigma i. So this one write down equation number one. Trace in aluminium. Trace in steel is equal to 2.5 sigma i. Okay. So now write down second. Okay. Total load carried by P is equal to P is equal to uh, total load by steel steel wire plus total load of aluminium wire. Okay. So P it will be known that it will be 35 kilonewton. It is converted in newton 10 raised to the power 3 is equal to so P S it will be sigma S into sigma S into A S sigma S into A S A S plus plus sigma A sigma A sigma A Sigma A, Sigma A into A, Sigma A into A. <coughs> so you can write down here. So 35 into, I will write down here this one. So 35 into 10 raised to the power C is equal to Sigma S will be unknown. We need to calculate Sigma S. Sigma S. Sigma S. So area of steel it will be 200 mm square. This one it will be 400 mm square plus sigma A trace in aluminum. So area of aluminum it is also 200 mm square. 200 mm square. 200 mm square. 200 mm square. So actual from equation number one, sigma s is equal to 2.5 sigma s. Put this here. So 35 into 10 raised to the power 3 is equal to sigma s is equal to 2.5 2.5 into sigma a sigma 
sigma a sigma a into 200 into 400 then plus plus sigma a into 200 plus sigma a into 200 sigma a into 200 sigma a into 200 so it will be get sigma a value okay, from this relation. Okay. So you can write this one. 35 into 10 raised to the power 3 is equal to sigma a value to be get 2.5 into 200 and plus 200. It will be 700, 700 into sigma a. Sigma a. Sigma. It will be get sigma a is equal to form this relation. Raised in aluminum, it will be get sigma a is equal to sigma a is equal to 35 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 700. It will be 50 mpa. That is 50 newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. That is in 50 mpa. 50 mpa. Then now sigma s is equal to, you know that sigma s is equal to 2.5 sigma a. 2.5 sigma a. 2.5. 2.5 into sigma a. Sigma a. Sigma a. This will get sigma s from this relation. So 2.5 into 50. So 2.5 into 50. So it will be 125 newton per m. 125 newton per mm square mm square so sigma s is equal to 10 by sigma s is equal to sigma s is equal to 125 mp 125 mp 125 mp okay. this is stress in steel and stress in aluminum so stress in aluminum which is 50 mp and stress in steel it will be 125 mp mp okay so 35 kilo newton load it would be carried by steel aluminum okay so this total load it is carried that's why we use this equation p p is equal to ps plus pa so change in length in steel and change in length in aluminum it will be get same because of it is composite wire okay p wires it will be in connected in same line okay it is applied same load on that three wires so that's why change in length in steel is equal to change in length in aluminum Okay, 